I, I was, you know, living in New York, living in London and kind of like wanted to start a family. And this was just like this beautiful green haven of just like real life. It's almost like stepping in time. It's so easy to, to just f like fall into like magic here and there. You don't have to look very far to like see things that you would never imagine that you would see. Back in May of last year, we embarked on a journey through the Saxon villages of Transylvania to discover off-the-beaten-path places, meet new people, and reconnect with our friends. So come along and join us as we travel from picturesque village to picturesque village in the heart of Transylvania. Our journey begins in Biertan, an iconic destination among the Transylvanian Saxon villages due to its imposing multi-walled 15th century fortified church. The Saxons were a group of German settlers who were invited to the region by the Hungarian kings around the 12th century to help defend the borders. They built many fortified churches throughout Transylvania, which served as both places of worship and defensive structures to protect local populations during times of conflict. The Saxon community in Transylvania is much smaller than it used to be. Many Saxons left the region after the fall of communism in Romania and today, only a few thousands remain. However, their legacy lives on through the unique architecture of their villages and towns. The Biertan Fortified Church is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the largest and most visited fortified churches in Transylvania. Inside the church, under the beautiful rib vaulted ceiling, we admire the intricate altarpiece with its 28 panels executed between 1486 and 1524. The stone pulpit, covered in wonderful carvings, dates back to 1523. Flags representing the different trade guilds still adorn the pews on the side of the church. A particularly interesting detail is the complex lock of the sacristy door. The church is also famous for its unique divorce room. Couples who were experiencing marital problems would spend two weeks in the room without speaking to each other. They were provided with only one spoon and one bed as a way to encourage them to work out their differences. This often led to couples reconciling rather than divorcing. We leave Biertan behind and make our way over the hill to Kopshamare, where the massive 14th century church dwarfs the small village around it. It is one of the oldest and best preserved fortified churches in Transylvania. As with most of the smaller villages in the area, we first have to find the person holding the keys to the church. This is how we meet Sebastian. Born and raised in Kopshamare, he not only maintains the church grounds, but also serves as a guide for travelers and a very knowledgeable one, I might add. A narrow and steep wooden staircase leads us up several levels until we reach the clock mechanism. The clock since 1990, when the Saxon left the village, had a huge peak of all 30 years until we repaired it back in uh, 20, 2019. Sebastian explains to us the way this complex mechanism of pendulums, weights, wires and cogs drives the clock. In the old days, before watches were common, the church clock would drive the rhythm of the village. The toll of the bells would call people from the fields, children from school and people to church. As we reach the top of the bell tower, just in time for the three-quarters bell strike, an amazing view of our Kopsha opens up in front of our eyes. We leave Kopshamare behind and set off to explore the surrounding area. We stumble upon beautiful places and have some curious encounters that we cannot wait to share with you. Join us on our next episode as we continue our journey through the enchanting Transylvanian landscape. See you then!